Stop spending hours on thumbnails. This app is about to help you make them in minutes. Oh hey, you actually clicked on this video, but why? Was it the title, the thumbnail, or a little bit of both? I'd probably say a little bit of both, just because, sure, the title is what tells you why this video is relevant to you, but the thumbnail is what caught your attention in the first place. There are a few things that can make a thumbnail engaging and successful. It can include the color you use, the font, the imaging, and even the expression used to pull you in. But how easy is it to make a winning thumbnail? Realistically, eh, it only takes about a few minutes. See this one? I made this bad boy in less than 10 minutes right here inside our own tool. I was able to incorporate all the things that make a good thumbnail, like an eye-catching background color, relevant graphics, large title with a readable font, and finally, an engaging focal point, aka me and my mustache. Let me take you through a quick crash course on how to make an engaging thumbnail as a beginner. We're going to make this thumbnail from scratch, but if you want to make one even faster and even easier, you can start with one of our Visme templates. Uh, we have a hundred of templates and examples to start off with, but you know, I'll let you investigate that on your own time. But to start off, we need to start with the background. For most thumbnails, I like to use a solid color just because then we can easily add a contrasting text. But if you want to use an image for the background, make sure you have the space on your thumbnail for a border to you know, fill in the color behind it or you know, add in a fill. Now we need to add the text. The text should be the title or keyword that represents the content of the video. Since this is the thumbnail for this video, we will just put creating thumbnails beginner's guide on the top. Now I think I have a little room to play around with some icons and graphics relevant to this video. I'll be hopping into our graphics tab and using the keyword search to select for icons like this screen and this YouTube button so that I can add them around on the right side of the screen and just kind of give the viewer a general idea of what this video is going to be about. If it seems like I know what I'm doing step by step, then you're probably right. I've already made the decisions on how I will create this thumbnail, I'm just kind of putting it together here for you. So just note that it might take you a little longer as you search for resources and take the creative liberties as you go along. Believe it or not, the thumbnail is actually almost done. The last necessary step is going to be your engaging focal point. I'm going to let my ego flow a little bit and make myself the focal point again. Even though I have this stock image of me, I can use the background removal tool to easily create a cutout of myself and easily insert it into the thumbnail. Now that we have all the main resources on the canvas, we can ad lib here and there to see if we want to add anything or adjust anything. I can filter my cutout to better match the contrast of the project and I can move stuff around so it looks a little bit clean and I can add a few extra items to the background just so that you know there's still more contrast on the thumbnail. And voila! Here is the final version that you just clicked on to watch this video. Now we can export it and use it wherever we want. Sometimes less is more, so you don't have to go crazy with trying to add like 20 different objects into your thumbnail. Make it clean, make it clear, and make it fun. You don't need an expensive photo editing tool to create the thumbnails you want. Really, all you can do is start with a free tool like Visme and play around as much as you want. For more design tips and content on digital marketing, make sure to subscribe and keep creating. Talk to you soon.